Good morning, everyone. Okay, so one of us thought it was Friday on Tuesday. Heather. <laughs> and the other one of us woke up yesterday thinking it was Friday. That was me. So we must be in a rush like a lot of other people to get to the weekend. Well, of course, including Mrs. Grant from 94.9 Mix FM. Don't you feel like Friday has been kind of all week? It has it been. It has been all week long. We've all been confused about the days on the morning mix also. And in addition to that, I am exhausted because I spent most of the morning trying to figure out, okay, is that true or is somebody trying to... Punk oh, I saw that I you know. gave like a, a PSA to all your Facebook people saying, remember it's <laughs> April Fool's today, keep an eye out. I'm getting older. The brain doesn't want to have to work that hard, <laughs> especially on a Friday. Okay, wait, that's got to be, that Tesla thing, that can't be real. That can't be real. You know, yeah. it, you just, it's part of it, but I'm so glad that the weekend is starting. And it's actually starting today with the street fair, which yeah. is so cool. I love that we run for three days. It's down on 4th Avenue between 9th Street and University Boulevard. It's free. It's not like there's an admission. Do not bring your pets. Okay. Right. It is not a pet-friendly environment because there are so many people. 35 food vendors, over 400 arts and crafts booths. They've got a couple of stages. They have a kid's hands-on hands art pavilion where they can do all kinds of stuff. So literally, it is fun for the whole family. You just make your way down 4th Avenue. It's today, tomorrow, and Sunday, 10 a.m. to dusk, all three days. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. That really is yeah. like all day. It is definitely all day. You can park down by the U of A and catch the... Um, Sun link and run mm -hmm. that down if you want. There's also some free parking and you can get all the information um, at their website, which is fourthavenue.org. Definitely one of my favorite events that we have here. Yeah. But you said no pets, but we do Ooh. have a pet friendly event this weekend. Yes, we do. Our second annual Bookman's Entertainment Exchange Family Friendly <laughs> Fun. It's called the Pet Fiesta. It's set up at the Band Shell at Reed Park. We're going to be there um, tomorrow from 10 to 3. And there'll be food trucks for you to order food, but everything else is going to be fun. There'll be competitions. You'll see all kinds of people there with their pets, and uh, they'll be dressed up. Some of our people will be dressed up. There'll be all kinds of entertainment, and it's from 10 to 3 at the Bad Shell in Reed Park. I love that. I love yeah. when you get to, you know, it's almost like a pet play date with everybody. It really is. With it's everybody. a pet play date that kind of yeah. runs that whole time from 10 to 3. It's going to be gorgeous tomorrow. There yeah. will be adoptions yeah. there. There are going to be veterinarians on site. So services, but also just some fun in the park. Yeah, Definitely. maybe I'll bring, I'll bring Stout to that. But yes. I know Ugh. I won't be able to bring Stout if I want to come and see some uh, Kenny G. Oh, Jazz. Kenny G. I don't think he has this hair anymore. You know, the last time I actually wa had the pleasure of introducing uh -huh. him on stage at Desert Diamond Casino, it was about seven years ago, and he did have that he hair. He did have. And he had flown really? in. That's to his, his thing. His yeah. thing. Yeah. Gotta have the Kenny G Tucson hair. Tucson International Airport, he comes flying in, and, you know, he's on his private plane and everything. He shows up at Desert Diamond Casino. He was a perfect gentleman. I introduce him on stage. I make my way around and go sit down in the crowd. And I can hear him, but I can't see him. And the next thing I know, he is coming down the crowd. He's one of those people who can cycle breathe. Oh. So he can take air in his nose while he is blowing it out. So as he's playing the sax, thing? he can continue. It's a continuous tone, continuous note. He never loses I'm it. I'm literally wow. sitting here trying to do it while you're talking. <laughs> Not everybody can. How this is that? one Where of the reasons why he's this Grammy yeah. winning he's saxophonist. Saxophonist. You know, It's so very cool. sexy. It's very cool. It's at Desert Diamond yeah. Casino tomorrow night, um, 8 o'clock. So you can go check it out. You'll see it for she yourself. Sexy. I'm going to go it see is. if he still has the hair. I'm going to go look some recent pictures. I'm there curious is. now. Oh, you know. <laughs> I don't know about the hair, but he's a cycle breeder, he's and it's good. awesome. That, that is, that's a reason enough to see him right there. I was so impressed. It's pretty cool. It went cool. on for minutes. It was awesome. <laughs> well, we, we kind of have, this is the week in the week, kind of have something for everybody, because we have a really cool science event as yes. well. Yes. Yeah. So I love STEM programs anyway, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And they are doing, the Tucson Hebrew Academy is doing their second annual community STEM festival. It's a free day of family fun that all intertwines with science. And it's going to be taking place on Sunday. So that's nice. A different event, right. a different day. It's 10 to 3. And it's all the cool things that you expect from biology and physics. And it's 
it, when parents get excited about it, the kids get excited yeah. about it. That's and so true. They get involved in yeah. it in school, and that is so important. We need, you know, technology to be here. And my son is a major science geek, so Sunday we know where he's going to be. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I love that they're making it cool because I wish they had made, you know, it cooler for us instead Absolutely. of being like, oh, we have to do this stuff. It makes it so cool when it's hands on. Yeah. So I think that's really cool for them. Now, to round it all out, yesterday actually we had somebody stop by and give us some information about a huge shopping event. It's three days I of shopping. I love this idea because it's to benefit also a great charity called Voices of Education. It's called Shop Your Girlfriend's Closet. And so the way it works is there's vintage and um, name brand stuff. It's used and some of it's new. Some, some stuff was donated by celebrities. Some stuff was donated by um, actual stores here in town. So tonight is the most expensive. So it's $50, but that includes you get to be in the silent auction, drinks and hors d'oeuvres, which oh. is kind of cool, and just kind of shop around and check out all this great stuff. Then on Saturday, it's 20 bucks, and they're doing champagne and chocolate. Oh, yeah. Which is my kind of shopping event. <laughs> and then on Sunday, it's free admission and, of course, screaming deals because at that point, they're trying to get rid of everything that they have because the whole idea is it's for charity. It's yeah. for houses for education. And it's at... 3820 North Oracle Road. Awesome. So I think that's great. Well, I love having you on because you always give us a great rundown of what's happening, but then you make it kind of hard because now I don't know which ones to go to. <laughs> they all sound so good, Mrs. Grant. I gave you things you yeah. could do on different days. You just that's have to true. plan your schedule. Call me, I'll that's help true. you. All right, I'm going to call you later. <laughs> but thank you so much for always coming on and giving us a rundown. It's so great I having you on. I love being here with you guys. So love it. Well, you guys, for a great start to your morning, just make sure you tune in to 9-4-9 Mix FM every weekday to the Morning Mix and to learn more, log on to Mix FM. FM.com. Also, we'd be glad to talk about your event next Friday. Just send us a message on our Facebook page, and you never know, we could talk about it.